when I was in the Air Force in 72, I started riding a motorcycle, started on a Honda, and then moved to Tucson, Arizona. And uh, I bought a 450 Honda and decided it was time to move up. So I, I bought this one in 1973 and still have it. And then I kind of got into British bikes. And then I, I like the industrial look of a Harley. And there's nothing like the sound and the feel of a Harley. It may not be the most comfortable bike, but that's not why people drive them. I started off with uh, Super Glide, actually, and then went to Sportsters. I've always liked Sportsters because they, they handle good, they look good. Ultimately, I think they're the nicest looking Harley, but they're not real practical for distance, but they're great for around town. So I have four Sportsters, and then I uh, moved on to another big twin. I've got the 99 Evo Softail Custom, and a 2016 Softail Slim S that I bought recently. And uh, as far as new bikes, that's about it. I've got one Triumph Bonneville. I really like that bike a lot. It's a good daily, daily driver. I've got the, uh, one of the rarest Harleys probably ever made is the 77 Confederate States of America Harley. It actually came from the dealer that way, from the, the factory that way. And uh, Harley didn't even admit to making them until two or three years ago. And they figured maybe half, they made about 600, and they figured about half were repainted at the dealerships because they weren't politically correct. So there weren't many that survived. The one I have is one of 45 XLC8 Kickstart only models. And then I have an 81 Milwaukee Edition Sportster. I love the old iron heads. They just they look good, they sound good. You know, it just takes, for every hour you drive, you spend an hour tinkering. Not like the new Harleys. They're just push button and go, and that's what I like about them. They're very reliable, they're comfortable, and they still have that old fashioned industrial look about them, and that's what I like. That's what I always liked about the British bikes. They were handmade, and the Harleys had that handmade look to them. And, uh, nothing else like them in the world. There's been a lot of copiers, but uh, nobody gets it down just right. I'm Bill Mooney, I'm a Harley rider, and I always will be, and all my friends are too. There's no other way to go.